So let me take you to Aichi Prefectural Museum of Art. You can stop by here if you are in Sakai, Nagoya. It's really close to Oasis 21, which is one of Nagoya's tourist attractions. Still alive. That's the theme of the exhibition that I'm visiting with my friend. It's a festive celebration of living despite of uncontrollable pandemic in the present, which exacerbates the emptiness we feel. The theme holds is a silver lining of the fundamental meaning of living and the power of art. Now I'll walk you through to my four favorite artists during the exhibition. Meshach Masanova's canvas. I noticed the lack of exacting definition from his expressive mark makes me want to have a deep conversation with him as the artist and what he wants to communicate to me as a viewer. Collectively, this pushes me to become more cautious of the message of the art that I perceive and the conflicts that comes with it. Next is Adachi Tamami's 3D print. When I entered the room, a first thought popped on my mind was what a weird noise, but in a good way. Then as I looked around and read the meaning of his work, I found out he's showcasing the possibility that characters which up to now have been printed on flat surfaces due to technical constraints can extend in a third dimension. For example, in his digital drawing displayed on a 2D plane, the word silence is definitely repeated. This reminds us that conventional letters and characters are sets of lines that form shapes, and when they are combined, they indicate meaningful sound. The text that appear as a hologram in the cube-shaped screen are referenced to the pioneers of sound poetry. The Russian avant-garde and Japanese Mava poets of the first half of the 20th century on the screen is projected Adachi's own performance interpreting these poems as they emerge three-dimensionally. How cool is that? Yeah. This is Pablo Davila's. His exhibition in which digital and analog, the body and the universe, the momentary and the eternal, and other opposing concepts are fused into a single space. It can be seen as a space for quiet contemplation and meditation on our individual existence. You can see me walking around the enormous piece, letting go of some internal conflicts, meditating and trying to feel the music. Last but definitely not the least, Roman and Doc. During the exhibition, I was taken aback to find out that his work, Event Horizon 2016, are sliced trunks of an oak tree. In total, there are 100 discs and stamped a description of historical event onto each disc, ranging from 1917 to 2016, with corresponding animal ring in the tree clearly delineated. Fun fact, during the exhibition, one disc per day is taken from the floor and hung on the next peg fixed to the wall. And on the final day on the show, all of the wooden discs will have been hung on the wall linking the history experienced by humanity and this oak tree in this way. His work forces the viewer to imagine a broad sweeping perspective, such as the workings of nature and in modern world and cosmological laws from the sections of the tree. What a magnificent way of seeing life in different spectrum. I shall never get enough of these four incredible artists and can't wait to revisit this place again for another exhibition. Wanna come with me?